Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com, and I'm back. I had a wonderful vacation, and I am so, so excited to get back. We have a brand new catalog, a brand new product line, and I have tons of ideas that I can't wait to share with you. I couldn't wait to start playing right away, and we're going to get started with this super stinking cute flamingo card from the brand new Papa Paradise suite in the Stampin' Up! catalog. He's so adorable, isn't he? And he's super easy to make. Great for beginners and great to make a bunch of these to have on hand. You'll have to forgive me, I brought back a little bit of a cold with me. You can find more information on how to get your own copy of the Stampin' Up! new catalog on my stampatami.com blog, as well as a free PDF for this card, simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the video description below. Or if you're on YouTube, you can click right on this video. All right, let's get started. This is such a fun set. Love this flamingo, and I love the Papa Paradise designer paper. And this year's Stampin' Up! catalog, it's on page 84. There's a whole suite for it. So much fun. So this is such a fun set, and I really couldn't wait to play with it. I mean, really, who doesn't love flamingos? How fun is this? Now. Don't mind, my, don't mind my mess of designer paper because this is one of the ones that you know we couldn't wait to play with right away. But these are some of the designs that come in it. It's also a specialty paper. It's got some gold foil in it as well, which just makes it pow. The rest of it's double-sided. Double your fun. <laughs> and I love the black and white Mill and Mambo together. Such, so great. I'll have all the measurements for this card on my blog. I'm taking this pattern from the Papa Paradise designer paper and just some double-sided tape snail adhesive. And I'm just going to attach that designer paper to our card base. It's just a whisper white card base. And this is really just half of an eight and a half by 11. Cut in half, fold it in half. Bingo! I should mention, this is just a super, not only is this a fantastic card, it's super easy to make. Which is also a bonus. We like that too. Great for beginners. I've got three ink pad colors here. Melon Mambo, Cucumber Crush, and Early Espresso. We're going to do our Flamingo and the Melon Mambo, and he's going to match the paper that we're going to layer him on. He's also going to match the Baker's Twine we're about to use too. One thing I love about Stampin' Up! is everything coordinates. So we're just going to stamp that flamingo in the melon mumbo, which is also fun to say. It makes me want to sing that song, Mumbo Number 5. Alright, I'll spare you the singing this time, just this once. So we're going to stamp him a little bit to the right. Isn't he adorable? Love him! And then I've got some scrap paper here, stamping the Hello Stamp in the Early Espresso. And the leaf stamp twice in Cucumber Crush. One. Two. Okay, once everything's stamped, we're going to punch out the hello with a circle punch. It's a one and three eighths circle punch. Just pop that right out. Then we're going to trim out the two big palm leaves. And I left a little bit of border. I didn't get into too great detail here, just a little divot on some of these leaves. Okay, now once our pieces are cut out, then we just assemble. I told you it was super easy. I am taking that Melon Mambo Baker twine, and it matches perfectly. The ink, the designer paper, the twine, just awesome. I love it when things are easy and they coordinate. This really does remind me of Granimals. What, I don't know if you guys had those when you were a kid, but you know, the, the flamingos match the flamingos and it took all the work out of what, what colors went together. It really pulls it all together. Just love it, love it. I love this color too, it's so fun. Okay, just tied that in a little bow. Gonna put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our flamingo panel and some snail adhesive on the back of one of these leaves. So the flamingo goes right in the middle 
And before I tack him down in this lower corner, I'm going to put the leaf underneath it so it lines up perfectly. There. And then the second leaf will go on with a dimensional, as will the circle. Okay, that just layers on top there, and the circle goes on the left-hand corner of our flamingo card, and voila, he's done! <laughs> Love him! Isn't he so fun and so easy? This would be a great card to make in bulk. Designed by Veronica Zalas. You know, she makes some fantastic card designs on my blog. And don't forget to visit my blog for daily inspiration. I post there every day. And sign up for my newsletter because I send out free card tutorials every Tuesday. Hope you've loved this little pop of paradise. Thanks for joining me today.